Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode I'd like to show you um, the new Android um, app for Microsoft List. So the first thing we need to do, uh, you see here currently my uh, Android uh, phone, so I will go to play and uh, let's move it and I should search for Microsoft List. I found it. Let's see. You see, this is a Microsoft list. I click it. Sorry. Let's go back. I clicked it. Uh, in this case, I already installed it. So uh, all you need to do is to download it. Once I open it, uh, you see on the top, I'll see the favorites and I will see the recent list. In this case, I will add also another account. In this case, I will uh, put the other account I have. This is the account. It will ask me to put my user and password. Sometimes uh, it will take time actually to to bring the data. Um, but okay, let's see how we are. Just in a second. So we see it's still loading. I will uh, pause the video for a second and. Okay, we are back. So uh, let's see what we see here. Just move this aside. So we have the favorite. We have uh, a list called A to Z. We have the recent lists. Um, on the tab here, I can see the list which are considered um, my own, which are stored on my um, OneDrive. Uh, and here, actually, I can uh, create a new list. Here, I can create a blank or I can use the templates. So you see these are the templates that exist. Now let's go in, to, for instance, to a list that exists here. Let's move this aside. So what we will see here, actually, when I scroll, you see the first column of the title stays and the rest is is there. I'll just look for a better list. Let's look for demo. Okay, let's look for even a better one. Sample. So here you see uh, the first column is SSS and I have a status column which is actually with choice one and two. Um, if I now, it seems like um, the the list are uh, you can edit it directly. So there's no uh, quick edit or edit in grid view. In this case, you saw I I, I opened the form, uh, but I think I can also uh, choose directly the value. So I clicked on this, and I can change change it from choice three to choice one. Click the V and uh, it's automatically changed. Now let's notice what we also have here. Here I can create a new item. I can sort, I can define. How do I want to sort, let's say by status, A to Z or Z to A, or by title. Let's go back. And we can filter. Again, I can filter by uh, one of the statuses currently everything is a choice one. Let's change something to choice two. Click the V. And you see if I come to the filtering, I can uh, filter by status one or two. Uh, what else do we have? We can group. So I'll click the group. And I want to group by status. So you see here now I have. Uh, two two groups, one by status choice one and one by choice two. If I click on the three dots, I can add a new column. It gives me to choose which column type I want. So let's choose, for instance, a person, and let's give it a name. Uh, mem member. And whatever, so let's just make a V. 
And now we see this column. Uh, let's see, where's the members? Okay, we have here the members. You notice that I have here collapse all or expand all. That's cool. So I will go to the member and I will choose Alex and assign him. And now I see it and there's some kind of uh, effect. You noticed? So that's cool. Let's uh, update also this one, Ligu. You see this has given it. Now let's, what if I want to see the information about that? Okay, it doesn't give me it. Um, if I click on, on this column, you see I can still do grouping. I can move it to the right or even delete it. Let's see what else we can do here. I click on the three dots. I can share the list. I can open it in a browser. Let's open it in a browser. So it opens up the SharePoint app. So let's wait a second. And uh, so this is a very interesting um, way to do it. Oh, using the Microsoft list. Um, let's see, give it a second. Failed, okay, let's cancel it. Uh, but uh, you understand, let's try to share. So it gives me uh, the ID, I can choose if I want to share share with everyone or with somebody in the organization or specific people. Let's choose specific people and um, uh, let's choose if it's read or write. Let's see how it works. Let's just apply. Here I can choose if I want to give read writes or can view, can edit. There's several uh, options, so let's just give can view and uh, give a name. Let's write Alex, and we can write a message. Hello, and we can uh, just send it, and it will uh, send it. So this is in short uh, the whole information. Um, Let's see if we can create a, a new view. Not sure if it's possible, um, but we we will check this in, in in future and see if it's possible. So thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.